I was panicking and I called up some people I knew and I'm like, I quit my job. I think I'm gonna make violence from home. <laughs> like, what do I do? Can I do this? He was not super happy with what he was doing um, and the atmosphere he was in in the shop that he was working at. And I got a job that almost doubled my income. I said to him, look, with what I'm making here, it makes up for what you were making at the shop. We could get you started on your own. It was really scary because I have house payments to make. I have kids to feed. I have a family to take care of. He felt a lot of pressure to be the provider for the family and to uh, really kind of man up. It was really tempting to just go get a job anywhere just to help provide a little bit because I felt guilty for not providing the income for my family. It's not something where he one day was able to shirk off all of the cultural responsibilities and societal pressures that he feels. It's something that we constantly have to reevaluate. By the end of a conversation with Deb, I would always be convinced that I could use my time better developing this business so that we could gain traction and not have to rely solely on, on Deb's income because of the progress we'd made in my business. Sometimes I just have to take a moment and say, look at me. It doesn't matter what happens outside of this relationship. I'm not pressuring you to provide for this family. The dream is that you follow your passions. Every time I sit down at the bench, I'm creating. You've got a chunk of wood that's just raw. It's just a block. And all of a sudden, it's translating to wavelengths through the air that, are, that affect emotion. The goal is to make these beautiful creations and then get them partnered out there with someone who can create beautiful music with them. My violins are currently at $5,000, and I think that I'm in a good price range where I'm not necessarily competing with these guys who are selling violins for $30,000. I'm looking for, for people in a whole nother area of the market. Finding clients is a constant process. I had to get out there and contact people and put myself in venues where um, not only violins are being played, but where someone might be responsive to talking to me about getting some work done on a violin. Definitely a lot more legwork outside of actually sitting at the bench and doing my craft. That's a big shift, but I gotta say I've never been happier. I don't think we could really count it as being successful and following our passions if we weren't able to share it with each other and our kids. I'm able to be there for my kids while they're growing up you know, daily. Sing songs with them, play with them, teach them in my shop, you know. It's really neat to be able to do those kind of things and I think it's special. Maybe it's not 100% my responsibility to just provide for my family no matter what I'm doing. It's also important that we're pursuing our passions and that we're being happy. Maybe that's the better route.